I've been following this situation in Palestine and Israel um, closely, but I, not because of the events that's going on right now. I have always followed it closely, right? Because I hated what Israel was doing to the people of Palestine. And I hated that America financed the, the, the you know, barbaric treatment of the people of Palestine. I, hate, I hated the fact that after World War II, the British took their land and gave it to the people of Israel to create a Israel, a, a, you know, a state for the Jewish population, you know, just, and, and then created, you know, set up buildings and homes for them, you know, in this two state system. But on the palace, on the Arab side of it, they lived in dirt floor tents, you know, and that's why I always say that, you know, one of the, one of the downsides of being in such close proximity to these, you know, white Christian conservatives is that they will never see all life equal. All life will never have the same value um, to these conservative white Christians. They're genetically incapable of viewing all people as equal. That's why all of a sudden right now they want us to be outraged, outraged at what's happened and they killed women and they killed children and i'm saying okay yes that is horrible but it it been horrible it didn't just get horrible three days ago it was horrible 10 years ago it was horrible 15 years ago when the, when israeli soldiers were shooting shooting children in the head with american issued weapons for fun for just for shits and giggles just shooting children no media covered. Nobody said anything. Nobody was allowed to care. You're only supposed to care when it's Jewish people dying. And I'm like, fuck that shit. And I want to challenge all African Americans to stop allowing these conservative white Christians to pick your heroes. Okay, they will always be on the wrong side of history. I told you that they have always been on the wrong side of history from the from slavery to the formulation of the KKK in 1863, 1865, you know, to, to Jim Crow, 1872, all the way up, Plessy versus Ferguson, lynchings in Mississippi. They, they are always on the wrong side of history. And we're allowing them to pick our heroes. We're allowing them to decide what issues we are to care about. You got black people running around this shit talking about support Israel. That's the equivalent of saying support chattel slavery or support or support the Dutch occupation of the Congo. The Dutch genocide in the Congo or support the African and apartheid. That's what, when you say support Israel and you are an African-American, that's what you're saying. Educate yourself before you walk around here saying dumb shit just because a bunch of white people are saying it because their heroes are not your heroes. Their heroes were George Washington and Thomas Jefferson during the time when you were, your grandmother was enslaved. It was an enslaved African. Their heroes have never been our heroes. They indoctrinated our kids with this as I pledge allegiance to the flag bullshit. That's, celeb that's a celebration of chattel slavery. And they're doing it again. They're doing it again. Because we are supposed to care about what's happening to them and it's horrible to watch what hamas did it's it's atrocious to watch you know you're never supposed to attack children and women and non-military civ civilians but you should have cared about this shit 10 years ago when israel did it you know and, and now i'm watching joe biden right someone whom i supported is now going to give israel a license to commit genocide with our tax dollars. You know, this vicious, racist ass country called Israel, that when African migrant workers were trying to enter that country, they had a thousand, a thousand of their military personnel to block African migrant workers. Some of them starved to death, wouldn't even offer them a cup of water. But, you know, I'm supposed to care? All of a sudden, after I've watched videos for years of 
Jews walking around spitting in people's faces, spitting in Palestine's faces, and they can't lift a finger to them. See, that's why, that's why these conservative white Christians are always planning trips over there to Israel because they get to live out this nostalgic fantasy of segregation, of a white dominance over this hierarchy of dominance over a whole race of people. Right? It's this it's this sadistic fantasy of white Christians to suppress and oppress all of these people. And we're supposed to support that shit? You know, I don't I don't support what Hamas did, but for 70 for 85 years, right? We should have been speaking out against what Israel was doing. The theft, the rape, the pillaging. The murder, the genocide of Israel. Okay, so you no, know, I don't support it, Joe Biden. You know, and I would never forgive him for what he's about to allow them to do. What Joe Biden is about to do is the equivalent of giving the KKK the right to police and oversee my black family. Do you think they will have my best interest in that? That's what's happening right now in Palestine. Israel is the KKK of that area that's presiding. So, yes, those people are going to uh, are going to revolt. I'm only wondering what took them so long. How much of that shit y'all was going to take? You know, you say Israel has, you know, Israel has declared them, you know, under siege. They've been under siege. Palestine is an open air prison. The water. The lights, the medical, the food, everything is controlled by the Ku Klux Klan of their region, which happens to be Israel. Stop letting white people pick your heroes. Stop letting white people pick your causes. Okay, to support Israel right now is to support chattel slavery. That's how fucking stupid you sound as an African American supporting the, the, the fucking Klan of the Middle East. That's what we're dealing with. The same people that, you know, drew the world's sympathy because of the Holocaust are now committing a Holocaust against the Palestinians. And I will not stand for it. I speak out against all injustice, regardless of where it takes place. Because with me, all life is precious. I don't suffer from this, this Christian conservative disease where only certain life, you know, white life, is precious all of it is precious and i would never forgive joe biden for every blood that shed every drop of blood that shed in palestine for supporting racist ass israel this shit is atrocious and i'm 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 not supporting it. and you know fuck all of that shit and fuck israel